Hey guys, welcome to Unscripted TV. My name is Francis, and today on the Rumor Report, we're going to be talking about Pastor Man Jerry's breakup. Marriage, I want to think that is a scam at this point because if people that are supposed to be the beacon of hope for some of us that are aspiring to join a school of marriage or college of marriage are basically leaving the institution or protecting their lives from harm, from possible harm from their spouses, it becomes scary. So Pastor Manjiri, Catherine Manjiri has been married to a gentleman called Katongoli. For together, they've been, they've been together for about 20, 21 years. And in that period of time, they managed to say a, a twins you know of which one of them graduated about last month this month or last month good thing over there but then over time i think as i stayed in this relationship you know like like i don't know why you know i think when people get into relationships they tend to kind of like get bored with one another or people try to show their true true colors which i normally tell people that if you're to date and marry someone get a friend friend you can easily study with a friend you can i mean a, a friend you can easily study a friend you can easily suggest things to to do for example when things get boring you can actually suggest that you know what bro it's been a while you know we've we've never never you know <laughs> had fun in the bush let's first go try the bush like oh no 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 i think we've all done the bush let's go get out of here do your shit on the road You know, no, no, let's go and, you know, try to have a trip and then do this thing in the, in, and have some sex in, in the train. Have some sex in the train, uh, have some sex in, you know, in the toilet plane. Uh, anyway, that's just a bad, that's me thinking out loud, but yeah, I mean to say that, you know, when people get married, I think they get bored of each other or, you know, people become, become complacent and stop caring about, about one another and, eventually begin to see the bad side of the other and the other side also begins to sort of like exude terrible mannerisms so pastor manjara say that her husband is actually planning to marry off to get married with another woman whom she did not disclose her names and apparently she alleges that I think it has been very hard for this guy to get rid of her, like to basically move on from her because I think she's been a stumbling block to his plan. Apparently, he, her, prof, her former husband, and the current would be the current bride that is yet to be, want to take her life so they can easily move on. And because of that, every night she sleeps, she has to have an AK 47 for herself and tucked under her pillow Funke! that in case of any attack she's well prepared this is a very uncommon kind of occurrence for someone that is a revered pastor I imagine you don't need the gun if you're a pastor because apparently there was a time I remember I grew up listening to pastor man Jerry and and she had quite some miracles that she used to perform on the pulpit. I don't know if it's the same power she can't use it to either pray for her marriage, but that she have to carry an AK for the same. But so anyway, bottom line is, man, Pastor Manjir is broken up with her boy, and the boy is going on to the next one, and he's in fear for her life. So she has to, you know, walk with her EK-47 to protect her life, you know. Yeah, man. Next story. Winnie Nwaji. Winnie Nwaji. Winnie Winnie provocative. Winnie Winnie Nwaji. This time around, she was in the swimming pool. Shaking. <coughs> and dipping. And talking. A bum bum. Like what ta bam bam man We you know you'll be the death of some company man I don't know got to say this girl is killing us. We didn't know you 
this woman just came to do what she likes if you die you die whether you like it or not she will do it still asigala wenichi wenyinuaji she's killing it my friend ay wenyinuaji is the only two people in Uganda that I feel have similar level of confidence there's a lady called Doreen Kawale Kawarebe she's a very professional model that recently made 1 million followers on Instagram she's the only model in Uganda with 1 million followers on Instagram and then winning why their confidence is on steroids man i want me a woman like that you know woman that can you know you know you know is not afraid to flaunt what she got proud of, proud of who she is you know Yes and then I think this is the last story is also about a pastor a one and him a one and him pastor um Mugembe So I think Pastor Mugembe is the most single pastor in Uganda publicly known I don't know how he I don't know how he has been surviving for the last 37 years you know because you know the bible says that you don't you're not supposed to have sex before marriage and you know you're a man of god so you have to practice what you preach you get what i mean you get me and suddenly uh, sadly the man of god has been very unlucky with love so one time he was asked why he has been staying the way he has stayed single for this long and the man of god had a very, had a very simple answer reciprocate he said he has his heart was broken even when he tried so much to fight for the love he couldn't return it to get to a point where he wanted it to be so he let it go and from that time on the man of god has been only jesus has been his girlfriend mother father sister brother auntie grandfather great great grandfather yeah man so nothing like a female species in his bed but the lord jesus christ despite the fact that you know this guy has actually a great a number of potential female suitors in his church he has decided he will not indulge in the acts of coitus in the presence of greatness and that is the presence of god so he decided to go and fish somewhere else where his desires can be satisfied without having to feel monitored so for that matter therefore the man of god i think you know currently is supposedly allegedly going to be warming his bed with a very beautiful woman that we've seen on pictures that have been circulating on social media and uh, from the look of it there's one picture when they, where the girl you know sh- is showing her, her ring probably um, an engagement ring and past of game is just they are looking like yeah i got it now what you know when you make a very slick move and you have nothing to say just waiting for what people are going to say that's the look the man of god the man of god has on his face this babe surprisingly though this babe's dress code is very freestyle she puts on boyfriends are they, are they called boyfriend jeans you know quite artists that you know quite revealing for for a man of god to indulge in you know something that you wouldn't expect a man of god to indulge in but yeah i mean you don't need to judge people by <laughs> but what they wear but what is in their heart you know i mean these are just clothes you know what i mean yeah and perhaps and, and also from the look this girl looks like she's a, either she's from america or something like that she's not in uganda here yeah so probably let's hope it's true but again uh, it's rumor that that's actually just a friend a close friend with whom he is uh, a close friend with whom he has been together for like uh we've been together with like for 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 uh, quite some period of time and they're just going for a small link up and yeah some pictures were taken but then the pictures are very many first of again what you guys see pd 
but this uh, one thing i like about him is he's he's a guy that likes to keep his things discreet so when the time is right we shall actually get to know exactly what that picture meant who is in the picture if she's the one we shall celebrate if she's not the one we shall still wait until the right time will come you can't hide to your <laughs> so guys um for uganda's case we all know that artists have not you know musicians have not performed for close to two years right now it's going to actually make two years from the time covid 19 hit the country and lockdown restrictions were actually put in place to help curb the disease and reduce its impact on the population so ever since the time you know some other sectors of the some some other sectors have been open churches have been open businesses have opened schools open but were closed and yeah of, as i speak right now they're still on lockdown but artists have not performed anywhere so the president said that weddings can happen with a certain number of people and of course in uganda here the tradition is a wedding cannot i don't think anywhere else a wedding can happen without an artist or music so it's that leeway that artists have you know used to make some bread here and there so when someone has a wedding morris kira is hired or morris king saha is hired but you know if you can't do a concert but you can perform at a wedding what do you do if you want to <laughs> if you want to make some money so morris kira has an idea so he tweeted he, he, he proposed his idea on, on twitter and say that so he tweeted so a Ugandan artist cannot do a concert, but big weddings can happen? Fine. We artists are going to charge people to come to our wedding parties where we perform every Saturday, only to divorce on Sunday, fall in love on Monday, marry again on Sunday, on Saturday. <laughs> so this is a hack actually. It's a very smart move if you look at it. Now that weddings have been allowed to happen, big weddings the only way artists can make money is stage weddings stage a wedding charge people to attend these weddings mm -hmm. on monday divorce marry again on monday marry again on saturday that's the only way you're going to make bread <laughs> a very stupid idea because my friend <laughs> these Ugandan police these Ugandan police guys won't even let you host even the wedding meeting <laughs> because they will tell you you're hosting more than 10 people it has to be less than 10 people so but basically it goes to tell you the extent to which uh, the music industry in Uganda is, has been totally brought to the knees the extent that most artists in Uganda actually have been turned into beggars, others can't pay their rent, others are really are sick without and have to ask for the public to contribute money for them. Like Leo Puzzle got a problem, had to undergo operation, an operation, and he had to beg from the public. That's not nice. And it's also partly because of the, the business model in Uganda, but money is only made through concerts, performances basically event appearances that you get you get paid for because online presence here is not really such a strong thing so that's why i think there's been some quite some suffering over here but yeah um how about trying that please any artists that may have read to uh, morris Kira street please take some advice and uh, stage a wedding marry on saturday divorce on monday then marry again on saturday